FPS is first person shooting. It is a shooting game based on the player's subjective perspective. The most popular FPS game must be Counter Strike series. It was originated from the world of Half Life and is then developed by Counter Strike 1.5, Counter Strike 1.6. Counter Strike Zero, Source, and Play, it has been Counter Strike Global Offensive, which is the most popular FPS game around the world. To play CSGO, the best experience, we must have a PC at first, then keyboard, mouse, and side. You can play it if you don't get any one of them. In CSGO competitions, Actually, it is almost dominated by Europe and the CS regions, like Denmark, Sweden, and Russia. The American teams also got some success in this field, but for Asian teams, the results were not very good. There are too many series of pro competitions in CSGO. The three most popular competitions are respectively IEM series, EPL series, Last and Savers And every year, there are two competitions sponsored by Volvo And they are called Major So let's watch those clips and feel how crazy and passionate is Counter Strike competition Online Battle Arena, developed from RTS, real time strategy games. It is subcategory of MMO games and has the same role concept of MMORPG games. In mobile games, players are usually divided into two symmetrical teams, controlling their chosen character in the RTS interface. Players need to strengthen their characters through character upgrade skill upgrade and upgrade equipment to kill the opponent and eventually overthrow the opponent's lineup based to win the game. The most popular mobile game must be Dota 2, which is also produced by Valve, from the same company of Counter-Strike. Different with Counter-Strike, Chinese team got many good results in Dota 2's greatest competition, which is TI. In past 10 years, Ramon has sponsored 11 Dota 2 majors. Esports betting has been a very common behavior among all sports events. With the vigorous development of esports, betting has also developed as a crazy phenomenon. Esports betting is the use of esports games as a handicap to attract players to play part in order to seek benefits. In short, it is a casino, which is illegal in most countries. For esports audience, betting will stimulate the secretion and the dopamine, which will lead to addiction. As far as the enemy is concerned, they will either go bankrupt or be heavily in debt. But for professional teams, along with the like creative benefits, some people will naturally take risks and use fake games to obtain benefits, which will not only affect the fairness of the game, but also jeopardize the healthy development of the industry. Driven by benefits, players deliberately make mistakes during the game thereby manipulating the game to control the odd and making profits. As for promoting the players to make the decisions to fix the game, it may be an individual, a team, or other driving forces behind the scenes. <laughs> 